Hey everybody, welcome back. Hope you're having a good day and I hope all is well. What's on the docket for today? I have a couple things actually. So, at our old friendly farm that we've been doing a lot of, uh, I guess you can call it hauling of materials from, we need to go back. We actually have another job from them. They are very pleased with everything we've been doing so far. So what we're gonna do we're going to actually take some logs that they've cleared or well, some trees they've cut on their land and just sell them. Um, they're making space. So the whole idea behind that farm, it looks like they're trying to bring it back. We discussed it a little bit in the last episode. So they're just trying to get that farm started back up. They have a fantastic uh, plot of land. All that looks good. The farm looks fantastic. But I think there's a story there. Um, I guess we'll figure it out as time goes on. Before I get too far into things, also, uh, let me check our app here and see if there are any jobs that we can do. I'm kind of wanting to do a larger job. Oh, there's not much on the docket today. But that is definitely a large job right there. So 115,000 bucks, good night. Okay, I think, let me, let me look at uh, field 40, see what we can do there. I think it's over, whoa, that is a big old field down the corner. Man, massive. I would like to bring in a good chunk of change because I'm going to start investing. There's some more things going on. Um, as you may know, we recently have these two uh, semi trucks, the Scania and also the Kenworth here, the K200 and also the 730S. We have to make a decision on those. Uh, we're still gonna do some testing. In fact, we're gonna use at least one of them today to do some of this work. Uh, we'll probably get the old Dodge truck here too. Um, also have that trailer over there. So yeah, but first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and get ready uh, to do this log pickup job. Uh, I think I'm gonna get a skid steer in a log grapple. Yeah, I think that should be sufficient. Let me uh, reconfigure this trailer. So what we're gonna put on it, we're gonna put the log poles on it rather than the extensions for the extras. See that, they added those log poles on the side. Those will fold up. Yep, okay. And I think that's good there. So let's go hop in our work truck. Sounds good, as always. Let's see here. Let's disconnect this one. And we'll go hook up to our other wonderful uh, transport trailer. It's kind of our all around trailer. Good, good, good. All right, let me head over to Clever Motors and we'll pick out a skid steer from there. Okay, made it right over across the street to our favorite dealer, Clever Motors. All right, let's pick out a, uh, I think, I don't know, let's see what we got first. Mm, got a good selection here. I recently got Kubota line. Oh man, all these are really good. Mm. Let's see, New Holland or Kubota, let's go Kubota. And we're, since we're gonna be handling some chunky boys, we'll add some weight on the back there. It's 135 kilos as those, uh, so what, 350 pound plates on each side. So 150 on each side, 300 all together. That's about, I guess, approximately 135 kilos. Uh, let's see, let's see what, I'm gonna just rent this. 2,895 bucks, not bad at all. Okay, um, moving right along, let's go ahead and get
Nope. Skips your tools. Hmm. I kind of like this. We'll probably try that. You know what? There was a, yeah, a new fork. They started just carrying this. So this is the Paladin walkthrough fork and that's a mod. So I want to uh, bring this along just in case. You always need a good set of uh, pallet forks. You could potentially use it for something. We'll put the guard up there. Go with a gray color-ish. Yeah, let's try a slightly darker gray. Yeah, that'll be good. Let's see, Here we go to guard two. We'll, we'll go with that guard. That looks good. All right, we'll, um, we'll lease that too. It's only 73 bucks. That's good deal. Very good deal. All right, and let's go back with the other Paladin brand. But this time we're going to get the... Where are you at? Where'd it go? There he is. The brush and log fork. Paladin. Powerful attachment tools. They are really good. Yeah. You know what? Since we have a bit... Oh, we have a red and... Hmm. Great and red. I'm kind of... I want to customize this. Let's try a nice blue, something like that. That'll the custom color mod, by the way, just got updated. So wow, looks great. So is it painted metal? There's like another painted. Mm, that looks good too. Let me see what that looks like. Well, that's kind of spiffy. I like it. Let's see. I'm going to go with, let's go with that. Yeah. It's a little rough, a little industrial. And I think that'll pair very well with the orange Kubota. All right. We're just going to lease that again. 102 bucks. Good deal. Good deal. Very good deal. All right. Let's get our trailer. Uh, we have a dovetail, so we'll get that dropped on down. Mm, nice. Okay. The SV75 Kubota. Very nice. What do you guys think about this thing, huh? Okay, what we'll do, we'll drop this off on the trailer itself and uh, get... Okay, good to go there. And we'll leave this on as we travel right up the road here. Nice, okay. We got a really long trailer, but we're still gonna try to center that weight kind of a little bit over the, at least over the first axle of the trailer there. Drop that down a little bit. Yeah. Throw some straps over everything. Dovetail goes up. All right. And we go right down the road. Okay, we're on the property now. I think what I'll do, since the logs are against that shed over there, we'll park in this orientation right here. And I'll go ahead and fold those up because we should be able to, ooh. I need to take those forks off first. Otherwise, it might be a little difficult. And what am I doing? I gotta let my uh, dovetail down too so we can get our Kubota off here. Nice. Okay. Leave the engine running for a second there. I don't think anybody's going to come in this entrance, so I think we'll be good. Shouldn't take us too long. We'll get this uh, sorted. All right. 
So there's our logs over here. Let's see what we have. We have a bunch of American Elms. Ooh, they're kind of heavy. 1.3 tons approximately. Well, exactly, but. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's get our forks off. Got those connected up there. And what I'll do, I'll actually uh, drop these off right here. Cause we're not gonna need them at the moment. All right, what I'll do, I'll also, uh, We'll put our tailgate back, I'm sorry, our dovetail back up. Get our log forks up. And we can cut off our work truck. All right, back to the log grab. We'll pick that up. And let's get to grabbing. Let's see. We got this one on top here. Let's try to get that one. Oh yeah, these are some chunky logs. Chunky. How's that gonna grip for us? A little slippery. Okay, no worries. You have to be a little clever about how we do these. Okay. We need a good grip around the mass of this here. All right, I'm gonna really clamp that down on there. Let's see how that works out. Ah, not too bad. Look at there. All right, first one's going on the trailer. Let's see here. I think we're we have enough reach. Yeah, we do. All right, and we'll try to gingerly place this right on. Well, let me go ahead and get the loading and I'll see you guys in a little bit. We'll time lapse this a little bit here. Hey guys, I just realized we had a different type of tree in here. So there's a shang bark hickory. Hmm? Huh. Not too bad. Cool. Um, yeah, we'll load this one from inside the cab. I know some people like to see that, so we'll show the grip the grip on the outside though. If we can here. 
So what I'm doing, what I have been doing is rolling these logs back away from the shed over there. Yeah, we don't want to damage the shed, so that's why we, we roll those back. Okay, and I just want to get a better grip on this. All right, we'll clamp that down, make sure it's good. Like I said, we'll do it on the inside here. Put this on the front side of the trailer. The spacing is very good for uh, putting this grapple right through. Let's see here. Okay. I think we're good to go there. Now I need to shake it off. But I can get that in there. All right, just that simple. All right, we have one more log to get. Let's go get that bad boy, and we'll be ready to take this up to. I think we'll take it to the sawmill. There's a local sawmill here. I'm getting very close to this shed, so I don't want to damage that. Let's grip it a little bit and pull her out just a wee bit. And that'll give us some more room to work without any fear of uh, damaging any of the property. These are rather chunky boys, too. Like they're not light by any, any means, but that's good. That's good for uh, good for wooden stuff, you know? lumber so these should be pretty good so the deal is we get the money from turning these in as payment so I told them that's fair I think we'll make a good bit of money just from uh, just from these few ones here all right so let me part this over here and we'll come back and get it shortly close that down all right looking good throw a few straps over here we'll throw a lot of straps <laughs> okay I think we're all secured yeah looking good all right most of the weights over the, the back axles of the trailer there, so that's good. Um, it, it looks pretty balanced. Nice. Okay, let me go up to the sawmill, and I'll see you guys in a second once we're approaching that. Okay, we are approaching our just destination here, the sawmill. So let's go swing around this way. And we will sail at the sail point right here. Yep, there we go. Easy peasy. Let's see how much we'll get from this here. Wow, this is a lot more than I thought it was. 13,287 bucks. I think I will try to give some of that money back to the customer. That's a lot more than, I don't know. I'll talk to them and see what they think. I'll be, I'm very upfront about these things with our customers. So yeah, see you back when we get over there. Um, yeah, see you in a sec. Okay, back at the farm. Let me go talk to our customer. Let them know we're done with that particular job and see if see if they would like at least some of this money back because that, that was a good bit. You know, these are great customers. So yeah, I just talked to them and uh, they were like, no, no, keep all the money. That was the agreed deal. I told them exactly how much. It's like 13, seven something. And they said, yeah, keep it. So, yeah, I think they're okay with it. And we're okay with it, too. That's good profit for just a little bit of work. 
Um, I mean, renting all this stuff maybe was what under like what, under three grand, so probably around ten k in profit there. Just tremendous. Now, uh, I do have to tell you guys some good news that that our wonderful wonderful customer just considered for us. So, like I've been saying, they've been trying to bring this farm up, right? And the thing is, it's a lot to get a farm in working condition. So I think the story is, is they inherited this farm from some relatives and the relatives, you know, I think it may be one of the grand or their fathers, one of their fathers uh, invested a lot of money into everything here. So you can see all the sheds and everything. I, I think there's a lot of equipment in all those sheds that they just recently purchased. But as you can tell, the fields, they have quite a few fields. Um, this one has withered away, has a lot of weeds in it. We'll walk down here. So this is an, an animal enclosure right here, I believe maybe for sheep. So, you know, they have that capability. Uh, there's a field on that side over there. It looks like a grass field on the far. Uh, they have this field, which they recently planted. You know, they gave it a shot, but they have, you know, a lot of weeds, but it doesn't look too bad. And like it's ready to harvest. Yeah. Hmm. They have a silage pit. A few more animal, maybe a cow barn it looks like a very advanced one as a matter of fact i think this is one of those roboticized enclosures we have a little chicken coop here another barn another barn over there and i'm walking around um just to take a look at everything because they proposed the idea that we become their farm manager They've been extremely impressed with everything that we've been doing and they were wondering, you know, how would we like to be the farm manager for their property and you know, maintain everything? What do we have here? Looks like perhaps a pig enclosure. So it looks like they were set up to do everything like like everything. So in addition to all the, I think the three or four fields we passed, they also have this field. Oh, it looks like they planted it. Uh, there's some, a few weeds in here. Well, like this might maybe a sorghum plant, planted field. Yeah, it looks like maybe level stage three. Oh dear, uh, oh dear. Uh, maybe a stage three growth, but it does need some herbicide and perhaps another. Uh, another set of fertilizer. I don't know if they have any in here, but we can take all the measurements of that stuff. And also there's another fill over here that is withered. I think they perhaps own that one over there too, which doesn't look too bad. It just needs to probably be harvested also. But uh, this one, yeah, we got to plow that one up and everything. Well, I'm talking about like it's a done deal, but you know, that's something for us to consider. Okay, well, what do you guys think? Um, here's some more equipment. I'm not going to go in the barns because I, I know there's a lot more equipment in there, but they have a nice Mack truck there. Nice Massey Ferguson tractor, like a direct cedar planter, perhaps cedar. A nice plow, Ooh, heavy duty. Um, and on the other side, they have that case tractor. Um, so, yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, your thinking is on it. Should we become a farm manager? Now, I know we want to focus on the logistics portion of our business, but as I've been hinting around, a part of what I would like to do is invest in technology and farming. This would be the perfect opportunity for us to do it without necessarily having to get the whole farm. Like, we just have to get this one back into operational status, which is, it really is not that far off from, um, we can get some animals, you know, chickens, pigs, 
uh, sheep. And we get the fields back in order. I think that'll be everything. So I told them, you know, let me think on it in a couple of days. And yeah, we'll, we'll get them an answer in a few days. It's a big decision. So I would like to think it over a little bit. All right. In the meantime, we need to go ahead and get this Kubota back to Clever Motors. Well, we have it for a day rental, rental, right? So I think what we'll do, we'll just take it to our shop. And we have to do another, we'll do, we'll do that really big harvesting job. Yeah. Yeah, we barely put any hours on this thing. Like we only have what, uh, 0.2 hours? 12 minutes? <laughs> yeah, not, not very long at all. Drop that off there, and we'll go get the forts. We'll leave the forts on during transport. Should be good to go. I like these forts, though. I haven't even, I didn't get a chance to use them, but they are very heavy duty. Let's see if we can find something to do with them before we have to turn them back in. Feels like we didn't, you know, we just rented them just to rent them to rent them. But we didn't do anything with them, but you know, no biggie. It was only like 800 bucks, so no skin off our teeth there. All right, so I shall get to over back to our compound and we'll go ahead and uh, start working on that contract. Back at the compound, I'm gonna just I'm gonna drop this off in here, leave it in here for a little bit. It can be the special trailer, gets to stay inside the shop. I do have to actually put things in here, including our uh, fertilizer sitting right there. So this truck could use a washing, but we'll save it for a little after. Let's see what we have here, contract wise. Yep, it's already on the same one that we were looking at. Now, that is a gigantic field. What I do need to do, I need to drive over there and look at all this equipment and the field. I gotta put eyes on it to, to see what this is gonna take because I feel like this particular trailer, but they do have a loading wagon. Well, in any regards, we're gonna have to borrow, borrow their equipment. So we'll do that. How much is that? I was like, wow, that's a lot. Sometimes that's a whole contract. But if you look at what we're making, still nearly a hundred thousand. And then the size of the field leads me to think we're going to have a lot of sorghum left over. I mean, we're talking about 64 hectares. Yeesh. That's a big field. Borrow items. Let's do it. Okay. Okay, so I'll get over there and look at our work site and we'll make a plan. We'll get a plan together and see what this is going to take. We're definitely going to have to hire a worker or two. Well, we have one combine that they allotted us, so at least one. So yeah, let's get over there and we'll take a look. We'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, we are approaching the field. It's over here on the right. Uh, don't think they have a necessarily a drive in, but you know, like a little road, but maybe, oh, I did miss it. There it is. It's right there. Okay. So nice equipment. Very nice. So we have a new Holland tractor with yeah, loading cart Bergman. All right. Have a Mack truck. Oh my goodness, this Load King is fantastic. But I'm thinking that's only maybe 50,000 liters. 
Oh my goodness. Yeah, we estimated potential harvest of sorghum here is 1 million liters. We need a bigger trailer. Like a tremendous yeah, something to haul in conjunction to that. We may need another combine. This this is going to take quite a bit of time. Now, this is a great combine. The John Deere 8. Uh, what is that? No, the, the X9, sorry. John Deere X9 1100. Uh, I don't know how wide this is, but maybe 12 meters, perhaps? Yeah. So, I think my game plan now is to... I'll tell you what. We'll use our... Um, K200 and we'll get the biggest trailer we can get. Yep. All right, that's the game plan. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Wait a minute, just had a thought. I thought a thought. Before, well, while we're blah, while we're getting all the stuff I can go ahead and have a worker start this. Yeah. Let's see the, we'll start at the far end of the field, I guess. Yeah, we'll just start a worker there. Yeah, and while while that's going, we'll go make arrangements to get our truck. Alrighty then. So it took a little bit to get all that situated. But the... Uh, I do have to drive in the field to get that load. But um, 
But the purpose was met. We did get a much bigger trailer. I think it was 110,000 liters, so that'll help tremendously there. And I don't want to drive in the crop, but I have to to get this worker back going. Yeah, we'll get this fully unloaded, and I'll meet him at the other end of the of the uh, field down there, and we'll unload as as he goes up this way. But he didn't even get all the way down. Man, this is this is gonna be quite the task. See what we're looking at 11:30 a.m. So yeah, probably a couple, at least a couple hours. So maybe three. No biggie. We we we're gonna do the job and do it well. Just doing a little planning. So a full tank. Well, it's about 50 percent. So one full uh, combine. We'll, we'll fill this up, let's say 50%. So, yeah. And 50%, that gets you, let's say, one and a half rows, if that makes sense. So, you come down the field once and back up once. Yeah. I might have to rethink this strategy a little bit. I mean, we can just do all the trips, but you know, it is what it is. We'll wait for our uh, our worker to get down here, and we'll prep to go up. Okay, there's our worker coming down the in. So that's one. One side of the field, one lap, so to speak, one row done. We'll go prepare. Now, this is going to be a massive job. So what I think I'm going to do is do some type of montage, perhaps. All right, we're going to unload as we go here. Let's see if I can match their speed. And I need to get this over. go like I said I think I'm gonna do some type of montage of uh, this whole field so you'll see different clips like this rather than just you know time-lapse the whole thing because this is gonna be quite quite the task but you know I think it's going to be a good harvest, sure. All right. Well, I'll see you throughout the video if I run into anything interesting. Perhaps the first time we're uh, unloading the truck down there. Yeah, we'll probably do that. All right. We'll see you wonderful people in a little bit. Okay, that's our full, first full um, loader wagon here. We'll go drop this off in our truck and trailer. 
So what do we have? 33,000 liters? Oh yeah, so... At least three trips of this. That'd be a sufficient amount, I believe, to, to really make a dent into this field. All right, let's get this loaded in there. All right, so we'll do that like a bunch more times <laughs> and we'll get this field done and completed and we'll have a happy customer. All right, like I said, I'll try to do some montage type stuff right now. So please, I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you when this at least. Well, when we get ready to do our first unload of the actual trailer up there, I'll probably see you guys then. All right, see you later. Okay, everybody, so we have almost a full trailer load of uh, product here, but just coming down here to unload our wonderful combine just because I want to keep that going. Um, we literally have like 1% left for the truck up there. So I'm just going to get this completely unloaded, run up there, fill that up, and then we'll take that over to the sell point. Which, while this is going, I do need to verify that. So we are going to Feeding Grain South. Now, if you don't know where that is, that is right here. 
And our field is over here. Hmm. We could probably go through the town, but that'd be tight. So perhaps not. I don't know. We'll get that when we get that. Okay, let's get this uh, mostly unloaded anyway. I think the front trailer had like that 1% maybe. It really isn't much. Literally like 1%. But I wanted to get a full trailer load and position this New Holland in a good spot. Yep, there we go. Good to go there. So, actually, I'll leave that up if I can. Move this way out of the way so the combine doesn't run into it. I think that should be sufficient. I do love this feel with these, these huge... Uh, Headland, top and bottom areas. That's really good for a big combine. Okay. That was quite a heavy load. Where, where are we sitting at? We're at 99.5 tons. That is heavy. All right. Well, I'll see you when we get to the sale point. Okay, let's see. First unload. Yep, we're in the right spot. So that's good. Uh, while traveling over here, um, the combine did fill up. So, yeah. Now I'm doing this the quote unquote hard way is for a very good reason. Okay, let's see. 4% transported for the fuel. Yeah, we got quite a bit left to go. But like I said, I, we're doing this the hard way for a reason right now. Mostly because we want to invest in farming technology. And this is going to be good experience for our business. So how can we improve this for the farmers going forward? So that's what we're going to be focusing on. You might argue that maybe this is not such the hard way. Because we have quite a big old trailer here, um, 110,000 liters. Yeah, that's that's big. But as you can tell, our combine it it, and that's a big combine. It's a fantastic combine, also, but it's still running out of space. So, yeah, we're gonna have to do some stuff to improve these things. I have some ideas. Some of the technology we've developed can be applied to farming. So stay along for the journey. I think you're going to like the stuff that we make coming forward. All right. See you back over the field. Um, I'll probably just continue with some montage stuff. Yeah, hopefully sit back and enjoy and we'll get this field done.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen. All right, this has been quite the job. They even took a break, came back. But as you can tell, we are winding down. I just came to get a little bit more from the combine, maybe even empty it, and uh, get that trailer filled up to the tippy top and make another delivery. I think we're at the point now where we're, we'll probably start getting some cash or some money from what we harvest because I think, actually I can check, let me see. Yeah, we're 98% complete with this particular contract. We look up there in the upper right hand corner. But man, phew, that, that's quite a bit. Okay. What are you gonna give me? Mm, any more? Any more? I just need a little, little bit, little drop. Nope. Okay. Okay. We'll let the worker continue. Just that little sliver left on that side of the field. I say a sliver, but that that sliver is big as is as big as some fields. All right. Let's fill up the last bit of this trailer on the back corner here. Yep. All right, and we'll make a trip over to our sell point and see what we can uh, bring in. All that carting and doing some harvesting myself led me to a whole bunch of ideas. Oh, sorry, traffic. Pulling on out, going a little slow. A bunch of ideas of how we can use science to improve this whole process. Now, the biggest thing that stands out to me because I'm doing the carting is how can we compress the material to get more in a, a load? So that's one thing that we can look into. We'll really look into some scientific options for that. Like I said, we're in a scientific field. Uh, we have some inventions. I think some of them can apply. Now, specifically talking about the harvester, there's a couple of things there. We could make the harvester faster. Of course, we can do that. That's an easier option with today's technology. Uh, but we can also cover more area, meaning we can make the harvester head a lot wider. So that is something that we're going to look into also. Now, making things like that wider comes with the issue of weight. But I think we also have some options for that. So we'll be getting into all that stuff coming up. Well, I think these people in the town are sick of seeing me come through here with this, uh, <laughs> with this, this grain. truck sounds good when it's when it's angry it sounds like it was angry are we in the low yeah we're in the low gear set so we should be good there realistically speaking you would likely have a whole team of combines and a whole team of you know hauling equipment trailers and tractors and grain bins and all that stuff to efficiently do, the, do that field now, given the money that this person is likely going to make off the field, yeah, that's very realistic. But I'm trying to minimize that, potentially. Okay, 91%. So, minimize that potentially, and also... Use science to improve all that. Oh, well, we're stuck. We're stuck. See if we can get out of here. There we go. The power. There we go. We just hit 100% on that field. $20,746 farm sim dollars. And we still have quite a bit to go. So that's good news. That's all profit right in our pocket. 
we could sell, uh, save some of it, but I think we'll just sell it all right now because I don't have a silo to keep any of this stuff in. But technically, the field is done. But we're not done done. We're going to go finish up. And uh, yeah. All downhill from here. All right, guys. See you in a little bit. Okay, we are coming to an end on this gigantic field. Man, has it been a journey. Hopefully you guys just saw more of the highlights or just some cool scenery. Because this has taken quite a few hours. Oh wow, yeah, quite a few. Now toward the end here, I did turn on a little fast farming. Uh, we have relieved the workers I'm trying to remember how many we had uh, I think three yeah at least three but they've all done fantastically and have been compensated very well for a job well done now getting down to the end here I really hope we don't have to take more than one vehicle but we may because this trailer the front front tandem trailer here is filled up that one's maybe about 65 percent full so all of that to say i hope all this fits in the trailer i really hope so <laughs> uh-huh we'll tuck it in this corner over here mm, it's gonna be close because we still have just a little bit more Well, I think we should be okay. Let's try to even this out a little bit here. Yeah, it's not looking too filled. And I think, thank goodness, <laughs> I think this little bit here will fit in there just fine. While that's doing that, let me check the map. I don't, I don't think that is actually any, but that is that whole field. So we have the equipment back in a somewhat centralized location. Let me get that a little bit. It's going to bug me if I don't get it. And we'll park up the combine over here. After we get this little bit here. And in fact, we'll put it back on the... We'll take off the header, put it on the trailer. The header trailer, that is. Ready for the farmer to come along. Good. All right. And I'm going to attach this, even though I still need to empty. I'm going to uh, attach the trailer to this. Hey, dear. Sorry to disturb you. Hey. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. We're good. We're good. That's a little precarious there. And tuck that out of the way might take a little bit of an acrobatic move here so we're probably going to net I don't know 200k off this job but it was a big job but 200k in a day is uh, significant like I said realistically you would have a whole team of combines and transportation teams just to do all this field but we're a semi one man one person band um, with the help of some workers oh that was it it's just a drop <laughs> just a drop all right let's get in here oh I do have the auger extended sorry 
We should close that. And hopefully that will miss that. Yep, we got a good bit of space there. All right, let me try to back up this here. It has one of those, you know, swiveling things. So I'm doing a little booty dance for the combine to make sure it stays straight. All right. You know, had to sway back and forth to make sure it stayed straight there. All right, that that's good. I would probably make that a little straighter just so it presents well, but I think the farmer will be happy. Owner of the field. Okay, last but not least, let's get this last trailer. We have 85,000 lead. Good goodness. Good night. That's still a lot. All right, let me shift into the low set of gears. Goodness, that's surprising. Like, I, I <laughs> just seeing that, just from that last little bit, even though I have, I can't even tell you how many truckloads I've driven over here. It's still like that little bit of the field netted 85,000. That is bonkers. Sorry, car. But yeah. All right, let me shift down into the low gear set so we can get in here and uh, sell this grain, this sorghum. A bit precarious to get into this little area, but it works. I am very appreciative that we have a side dump with both of these trailers. Very good trailer, like it a lot. Like I said, we amp up the power a little bit for our tractor unit, the tractor trailer, tractor, semi-truck. We can pull it, pull it faster. But to be fair, this is, when it's fully loaded, it is a lot of weight. 50,000 plus 20,000, so 70,000. See what we get for the last 40K of material. So we're at 70. Let's see what we got here. There it goes. Forty five. Man, so we're at least a hundred and fifteen thousand dollars just in sold grain. That was extra from the field. Okay, now let's look at our contract, shall we? And we'll we'll accept the funds from that for a job well done. Wow. Even with using utilizing their equipment, we still netted 100k just from that. So we're looking at 200 and let's say 215k. We've already paid the workers, so that actually is money in the pocket. Like the workers were, I don't know. Let's let's say a thousand bucks just to be generous, but uh, it's probably about 2k at the worst. I really didn't keep track of it. Yeah, probably about 2500 maybe. But yeah, that was quite a contract now that did take all day but I mean realistically if you can net that much money in a day that'd be good I'm pretty sure some people do but at the end of the day here we are done all right wonderful people thank you for sticking with me today was quite the journey Oh, I will say, I know we have a delivery for a combine. Now, I still have to do that. So that'll probably be the first thing we do in the next episode. But for this episode, we'll call that one there. All right. Hope you have a good one. Take care of yourself and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.